Hey, it's Chris, Safety Dog here. Personal conveyance, that's what we're talking about today. The FMCSA Law Personal Conveyance. Please click like and, subs and subscribe to the Safety Dog channel. I would appreciate it so much. And your comments, I respond personally to your comments. So please leave me a comment at the end of this video. Love to hear from you. Personal conveyance, what is it? This is something that I just recently learned about and I wanted to pass this along to you. It is the movement from a shipper or receiver to the nearest safe resting place. Now, here's a note for you. The emphasis, such as the different colored letters or something I put in myself, I'm emphasizing this, the nearest safe resting place. And so let's read the whole thing as the government has stated it. The movement from a shipper or receiver to the nearest safe resting area, regardless of whether the driver has exhausted his or her hours of service, as long as the commercial motor vehicle is being moved solely to enable the driver to obtain the required rest at a safe location. So again, it's to the nearest safe resting place. Well, the government has now fixed this and they say, to the nearest safe resting place you can now move as long as it is solely to enable you to get to that safe location right as long as it's being solely for that reason to your safe resting place this is personal use of the truck it is intended as truly personal use of the truck right it doesn't say that you have to be empty doesn't say that as in Canada that you have to be untethered or without a trailer. You can take your trailer with you. You can take your load with you if you had other deliveries on there. You can take everything down to the nearest safe resting place along that route. Sorry. Now the key here is whether or not you know where your next dispatch is going the key words that I want to emphasize to you is the nearest safe resting place. If your route is heading southbound and there's a resting place 30 miles in that direction, but the nearest safe resting place is five hours, or sorry, five miles northbound, you'd better go northbound. Okay, now, if you're not aware of your next dispatch, and you go to the nearest safe resting place to that shipper's location or this receiver's location, wherever it is that you are, and you happen to go five miles northbound because that was the nearest safe location, and when you receive your dispatch, you happen to be going northbound and you benefited, that would be ruled okay. Because again, the police are just simply going to look at where you were and where you are now, where is the nearest safe place, the commercial police, they know where those safe places are and they will treat it accordingly. So in some instances it may be a benefit, but in most cases you'd better go to the nearest a safe location. That is all. This is what the law says here. If we go back to that, the driver may not be aware of the direction of the next dispatch and that in some instances the nearest safe resting location may be in the direction of that dispatch. But again, they use the words nearest safe location. If the driver proceeds to the nearest reasonable and safe location and takes the required rest, this would qualify as personal conveyance. So that is what the law says, personal conveyance. Use it carefully and make sure it is to your nearest safe resting place. So if you are out of hours, how do you record it on your logbook? The word is annotate. Annotate on your log, which means make a note on your log. So if you're using ELDs, you have to put a note in. If she cannot, if he or she cannot park at the nearest location and must proceed to another location, annotate the log. So in both cases, you have to make notes on your log. If you go to the nearest safe location, and we all know that there is a parking crisis. If the parking lot was full and you had to proceed to another nearest safe location, then you have to annotate your log. And again, 
please make sure you're going to the nearest safe location, not to the location that is most convenient to you. The police are not going to look at convenience. They're going to look at the wording of the law and apply it accordingly. It is to the nearest safe location. Now, here's the wow factor, because I didn't think they would put this into law, but they have. When a safety official, such as a law enforcement officer, requires a driver to move during an off-duty period, no farther than the nearest reasonable and safe area to complete the rest period. So again, if a police officer says, driver, for whatever reason, you've got to move, and you've already started your 10-hour off-duty period, you now can, and again, annotate your log, but you can go no further than to the nearest reasonable and safe area to complete that rest. So we have shippers and receivers where you cannot park, and you run out of hours, you can now get to the nearest reasonable safe location, and if you were parked somewhere, and for some reason a police officer asked you to move, asked you, please, put a smile on my face, told you to move. In the old days, that used to break up your 10 hours off duty. Well, now it doesn't. You mark it as personal conveyance. You put it on your logbook. And that is everything that you need to know about personal conveyance. That's Safety Dog. Please subscribe to the channel. Click like. Leave me your comments. I respond to them all. That's it for me. Safety Dogs, out. <music>